Hi, and welcome to It Figures. Tonight, I will be reviewing a pop movies figure of Nosferatu. So pretty much every horror fan knows what Nosferatu is. And for those who don't, Nosferatu is based on the novel Dracula. And for a lot of people, it's pretty much considered the very first film based on the book. And of course, Nosferatu is the vampire, which also would be Dracula. Gotta mention here that I kinda really do like the packaging. I like the brick walls and the image on the back from the film. Let's go ahead and open him up and see what he looks like. As a lifelong fan of horror films, as soon as I saw this pop figure, I snatched him up. I mean, there isn't a whole lot of Nosferatus out there to even get. And even though this is only a pop figure, it's still Nosferatu. So let's take a closer look at him. So Funko has been doing a really good job with their paint lately, and Nosferatu is no exception. As you can see, all the paint is just dead on here. From the silver buttons on his coat to his black fingernails, Funko did a great job with this. The detail work on the figure is also very exceptional. Check out the detail on his ears. Really love the bushy eyebrows and the white eyes work so good on this. They also did a great job with the mouth and the fangs. Like the movie, the fingers are really extended. And like I mentioned before, the black claws on this is just great. And actually they're pretty sharp too. The detail on the coat and the pants, even the shoes, are really, really good. And just to give you a look at the back of the coat, all the figures so far in the horror line that Funko has produced, I've been really impressed with. It's really great that Funko decided to go back and make this classic character. For those who don't know who Nosferatu is, it's just a cool vampire character. But for those who do, I have total respect for Funko for making this figure. Alright, so let's open up the old Figo meter and see how Nosferatu stacks up. For paint, everything is dead on here. I love the red around the eyes, the white and the gray, all of it is just really, really good. There is no overpainting or overspraying here. Everything is exceptional. So for paint, he gets a five out of five. By now we all we, by now we all know there's only one point of articulation on a Funko figure, and that's his head. As for overall sculpt, it's great. I love the pose that he's standing in, and even though it's a little cartoonish, it's still Nosferatu. Overall, this is a great figure. If you're a fan of the old Nosferatu movie, or just one a creepy looking vampire, you're gonna love this. Nosferatu gets a five out of five. So if you like tonight's It Figures, please subscribe so I can see you next time.